If you're a Redmi Note 8 user, you need to try out this build called Project Streak, and I think so. You love this. Why so? Because it's just great in the terms of performance. This is Project Streak, version unofficial version, of course, based on Android 12, which we are using right now with the latest December security patch available for you. The thing is, it's absolutely fast. If you go and try out, you will feel the notice. You'll definitely notice the feel, notice this smoothness and performance increment. It's absolutely fast, blazing fast. And as always, some underrated custom homes are available in the market, which you will definitely love after using this. And this one is one of those projects free. It might be available for your device also, but I'm not sure. I've tried it on Redmi Note 8 and the, end, the result was quite good. It does not contain the Pixel launcher for you. It does not contain the Pixel goodies for you. You have the AOSP launcher. The quick step launcher is what you get pre-installed, which is of course themed and it has the Monet theming available for you, which is working fine. Monet theming is the main thing in Android version 12 and this is a default wallpaper but we have you can see there's no rounded ui available there why it is so fast maybe it's because it's pure aosp maybe cf i'm not sure but it's not actually pixel one so yes one more thing you get the miui camera what you get pre-installed here miui camera is actually quite useful for a lot of users but this is unfortunate that the portrait mode is not working for you Yes, you have the alternatives available, for example, the Google camera, the latest Google camera mode, which you can use it on a device. But let me show you one more thing. If I want to check out other things like, for example, the quick settings panel screenshot and clear all option is there, not the select one. I've cleaned the data here. If you move on here, for example, the pro mode and click on 48 megapixel. Let's see if the 48 megapixel is working or not. It should work definitely. And we are here. If we go and check it out, you can see Ultra HD preview is on and this is how it will look like. And if we move on to the details section, you can see the height and width. This is 48 megapixel. I think so as I'm not a cameraman. I don't know about camera related stuff much, but I think so. Things are pretty much good. Things are pretty much consistent. It is an official version, but it's good. Also, let me show you if I move on to the calculator, as you just saw, the, the monitor theming was not there. But for that, you need to update the app from the Google Play Store. Let me update it. And let's see if the monitor is working perfectly fine with all the apps. By the way, it is working, I think so. But let's just confirm it once again. If you move on to the calculator section, click on open and you can see the monitor theming is there. So yes, monitor theming is working perfectly fine. This is AOSP, but looks quite good. Super fast if you use and you will definitely feel the difference. And also moving on to the safety net status, which matters a lot. Unofficial versions might have some issues a lot of times, but this one, no worries. It's almost like official things are pretty much good. No major bugs. You can see safety net status is also passing without any issues. If you want to root your device, you can. I have not rooted my device yet, but you can you root your device with the latest magic version and you can hide it from settings and you're good to go. By default, safety net status is passing for you. Including very good performance, it also has a very, very good kind of UI and settings. A little bit different, of course, Xiaomi Parts is also included. If you need the clear speaker option, if you need the Mi Sound Enhancer, those options are available here for you. Including that, if you move on to the system settings and if you move on to the gestures, you don't get any customizations available here. Same like that, if you move on to other options, you can see the sections are properly um, properly customized, maybe properly arranged, looks better. In security section, you can see fingerprint, of course, available, but now face on log is expectedly and encryption is also there. Other things, as I previously mentioned, you monitor theming, which also plays an important role. Yes, monitor theming is working perfectly fine, you just so. And these are some customizations for you, three tweaks, where you have some fonts customizations, little bit options available here you can customize the fonts you can customize the icon packs if you want to some basic customizations are here some status bar customizations like you can enable the 4g icon instead of lte you can use the combined signal icons lock screen only has a double tap to sleep of course not a customization focus room in my case this is great in the terms of performance so if you're looking for performance based custom room you can give it a try some gaming tweaks or maybe things are available gaming dashboard etc if you want to install this build link is in the description install from the custom recovery if you want to this is all thanks for watching goodbye over the edge feel like i'm floating through the
yeah.